Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to perform a simple installation of an LED strip on an ESP8266 and use WLED as its software controller. Let's get started. Here are the components needed for this project. First, we have the WS2812B LED strip. It has 144 LEDs per meter and requires 5 volts of power to illuminate the lights. Next, we have the ESP8266, which will be used as the controller for the LED strip. We will install the WLED software on the ESP8266. A micro USB power adapter is required to provide a 5 volt voltage supply to both the LED strip and the ESP8266. And we will also need a 5 volt power supply, which includes a micro USB cable, as well as some jumper cables. The next step is to open your web browser and visit install.wled.me. Plug the ESP8266 into your computer, then select the software version. I recommend choosing the latest version. Click the install button, and follow the provided instructions. After the installation, click install again, and then click connect to Wi-Fi to begin the Wi-Fi configuration. Select up your Wi-Fi network, and enter the password, then click connect. Click on Visit Device to open the WLED software page that has been installed on the ESP8266. New tab will be open with IP address of ESP device. On the WLED user interface page, click on Config at the top to open the configuration page, then select LED Preferences. In the Hardware Setup section, choose the appropriate LED output, which is WS2812X, select GPIO2, which corresponds to pin D4 on the ESP, and for the length parameter, choose 144, as the LED strip we're using has 144 LEDs per meter. Then, click Save, and back to go to home page. The next step is wiring. From the power adapter, connect the 5 volt pin to the red wire of the LED, and plug the data cable into data pin which is position in middle, or green cable. Then, connect the ground wire to the white wire on the LED for the ground connection. Next, connect the 5 volt cable from the power adapter to the volt in on the ESP8266, and connect the ground cable to the ground pin on the ESP8266. This will provide power to the ESP8266 from the power adapter. Finally, connect the data cable from the LED to GPIO2 or pin D4, as per the configuration I've set in the WLED software. In this setup, I'll be using GPIO2 for the data connection. To turn on the LED strip and ESP, plug the power supply into an electrical outlet. 
This will provide power to both the LED strip and the ESP8266, allowing you to control and illuminate the LEDs. To start controlling the LED strip, open the WLED user interface page in your browser using the ESP's IP address. From there, we can select different effect modes, choose colors, and use the color palette available on the left to customize the lighting according to our preferences. Let's explore and try out the various effect modes available on WLED to create dynamic and captivating lighting effects. Enjoy experimenting with the different modes to enhance your LED strip's visual appeal. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video.